ragi balls. You know this ragi road. <laughs> it, 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 don't make this Most. north versus okay, south. Did all you north? You are not even from the south. It's going to be a year of chunavs, and you are watching Chunav Ke Chaudhary, and we are looking at one chunav which could practically set the precedent for 2024. The Congress at least hopes so, and we are talking about the mega Karnataka elections. What does Chaudhary mean, by the way? Chaudhary is just like Chaudhrahar, मतलब the one who knows it, like the big one who knows it. You know, the first time I met Deva Gowda, uh, before he became prime minister or after? You know, I actually uh, uh, met him briefly in Karnataka, and I think the mid 1990s before he became uh, prime minister. And uh, you know, he was. Uh, that's when I first had my first taste of. Ragi balls, you know this ragi road. It, 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 no, it's very healthy. Yeah, it's extremely healthy apparently. He apparently that's, eats them and that's he eats why them. He, that's so no, he, he made me. You know, so I, you know, in the middle of a field. He wanted to project himself as a humble farmer, uh, and we were in the middle of a field. I think in somewhere in old Mysore region, probably near Mandya, and uh, he, surrounded by his supporters, we were having these uh, ragi balls. I must confess that it's an acquired taste, so it's not so easy. to deal but you know uh, and i was quite fascinated by uh, deva gowda's brand of politics uh, and then a year or two later he became the the prime minister of the country and i'll never forget uh, traveling with him into uttar pradesh and it was hilarious because he would give the speech in english his man friday cm ibrahim then mm-hmm. i think inb or civil aviation this was would, when he was prime minister when he was prime minister he would translate it into hindi so the entire speech of half an hour would take even longer and uh, finally i think we landed in kanpur and uh, he was campaigning for whom that time uh, 96, 96 elections uh, i think uh, for for the janta dal janta uh, for the janta alliance and we landed in uh, kanpur and uh, every everything came to a standstill Uh, nobody was moving why because deva gowda had gone to sleep and nobody was willing to wake up the prime minister of the country so there we are waiting in kanpur for about 15 minutes on the uh, you know uh, on the uh, tarmac for the prime minister to wake up till finally i think cm ibrahim summoned up the courage and said sir because this was sixth fifth or sixth meeting uh, i mean the memory. first po- memory you see the other the other karnataka politician i remember well was very different to deva gowda Uh, and i perhaps got to know him better in the early 90s was ramakrishna hegde because ramakrishna hegde was extremely suave english speaking urban would speak to you about theater would speak to you about you know uh, a number of other issues outside politics uh, he lived somewhere near lodi estate uh, he had a great you know great memory of cricket and and hegde was you know the interestingly the last karnataka chief minister to win an election while in office Mm-hmm. and he took a huge gamble in 84 and this is why karnataka is fascinating in 84 lok sabha the congress sweeps karnataka as they sweep the rest of the country rajiv gandhi sympathy wave in the lok sabha hegde decides to hold an election a, less than a year later uh, and gambling on the fact that he believed that uh, at at the state level he had a better chance than nationally and he was right and he won that election uh, so Ramakrishna Hegde was a very different politician to uh, Deva Deva Gowda not surprisingly therefore they had a tussle uh, right mm-hmm. through their political careers the fun of an election is always the surround sound which usually gets missed on television rajdeep and when karnataka is concerned the sheer fact that these two 24 seats translate into 28 lok sabha seats when you come down to it so it's it's important uh, you know it's not a, you know a smaller state in that sense uh, for bjp it's very important would you want to maybe talk about when you watched it as uh, you know as a journalist on the bjp's rise in karnataka organic inorganic how did you see it you, you've spoken about uh, deva gowda uh, what about bsy they're practically the same age no bsy 10 years yeah. younger but yeah you know look If you came, went to Karnataka in the 90s, the the BJP was always a marginal force. Karnataka always had a had a you know it's fascinating. In the 1970s, Karnataka was an original Congress bastion, right? When uh, Indira Gandhi wa- wanted to sort of make her comeback in 1978, where does she go? She goes to Karnataka to Chick Magalur, uh, and 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 that famous uh, 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 you know uh, sort of poem song, call it what you want, Ek Sherni. 
saw Langur, Chikmagalur, Chikmagalur. And she took on, you know, Virendra Patil, who was the strong man of the Janta Party and won. So, 70s Congress. You come to the 80s, the likes of Ramkrishna Hegde sort of work on this anti-Congress sentiment that also exists in Karnataka. So, it's strongly Congress, but with a large anti-Congress sentiment, first captured by the Janta Dal and its various offshoots. Late 90s, early 2000s, post Babri Masjid. That's when, uh, you know, the, the BJP slowly begins to grow in Karnataka and huge credit to B.S. Yadirappa because, you know, he really was the one who worked night and day. Uh, I've always, not an easy person to interview, not the most articulate uh, politician, but clearly someone and always, you know, with all his rings and uh, beads and various uh, uh, mm. seers that he has around him. Uh, you know, uh, astrology. I remember once interviewing him and I was told that, you know, I should come at 11.27 or something. Why? Because that's a lucky period. Why so, is it with all South Indian politics? I'm no, 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 hold on, hold on. Most hold. South Indian Please politics Please do not make this North. About, uh, Please do not, we are, most politicians are. Please don't make this most. North versus okay, South. I have only thought of with, with few exceptions. I mean, you have a, you know, you have a monk of a, 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 a as, as the Chief Minister not of really India's most astrology. populous state. There's a difference. Astrology, they all have, you know, look, I think all politicians. PCR didn't take oath. That's right. <laughs> no, and, 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 and he even changed, I think, the yes. secretariat because yes. of Vastu. All of that is true, but it's true of all politicians. I, I, I was in Mumbai. Give me another example of a, of a politician who was obsessed with astrology, Vastu, like these most South Indian politicians are. Maximum you know, rings you see in a South Indian politician's hand. You're putting me on the spot, but you know, let me try and sort of find a, a North Swami Indian is. version. No, I mean, I, you know, I, you, uh, you you see politicians like Arjun Singhs of the world and all, they also had all their rings and, okay. uh, you know, the their, 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 their various uh, uh, sort of religious leaders whom they turned to in, or spiritual leaders whom they turned to in difficult times. I think politicians are by nature insecure. And when you're an insecure person, and I can understand why you're insecure, because who knows what the next election will bring, you turn to some seer or... But uh, where you're right is, Yadirappa takes it to another level. We're going to just quickly close in, because what we're talking about, we told you about, you know, the, the three parties. Why is it important for the BJP? Because it's the first state that they've got in the South. So it's their foray into the South. They'll they be hoping to win it again. Uh, you know, where Rajdeep began, the entire Karnataka story, Rajdeep, is that Deva Gauda became Prime Minister. Well, that could happen only in a country like India, where a regional player like Deva Gauda has taken up and made the Prime Minister, because the politics at that point of time demanded. Yeah, you know, but... It's it, interesting. But, but look at so, it, you know, the, uh, look at how he became the Prime Minister, you know. What really by there? by a process of elimination all the north yeah, 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 all, yeah. all you know, since you made it north versus south I'm not making it I'm not all, making no no it. you did all, all you did all you north you are not even from the south yeah so sure. luckily this time rajdeep cannot say my what maternal, no, hold on, maternal, hold on. Uh, there must be a you you gone and put yourself in a Which spot my grandmother my mum's mother <laughs> comes from bagalkot district from a village called beur in fact a, gen, uh, her, her, her her brother was army chief General Beur after Manik Shaw and there's a village called Beur not too far away from, from from Hubli Dharwad. It's in Bijapur, Bagalkot, Bagal. You now I, put my now money I think in Bagalkot district. I'll tell you why also. Finds his no, 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 no. My dear, states. I'll tell you why. Right. Large parts of Karnataka and it's still called it's called Mumbai Karnataka. Right. So they were Marathi speaking. And it still plays out in the north. No, no, no. It's, and, 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 and many of us, uh, I, I know, not us, but many Maharashtrians believe that Belgam should have come to Maharashtra. Didn't come. Now, of course, the Kanadigas have gone and put a, a, an assembly building in, in, in Belgam. So you, there's no chance of Maharashtra. And, and, you know, even though very interesting, and we can discuss that in a future episode, and I hope to do an elections on my plate in Belgam, which I haven't really travelled to. You know, I'll tell you what but there used to be a party when there. When you go to uh, Belgam, the best thing to eat, which my father took me, is kunda. Your your father was studied in Belgam. Studied in Belgam. So wow. kunda, kunda is this the sweet dish there where okay. they make you must when you go. You tell me what you think. Of. You know, because there used to be a party called, or is still a party called the Maharashtra Ekikaran Samiti, which was basically a party which would win a but couple of seats. Actual. They would win a couple of seats, but, but no longer anymore. You know, I've covered only one election, which was the 2017 or 18 election, uh, the last time around. 18. And 2018 election, the last time around. And I think what I was amazed was it's spectacularly beautiful. I actually think Karnataka is one of the prettiest states in the country. But in my view, the prettiest, the prettiest state. Yeah. Just it's in stunning. terms of sheer yeah, diversity. Sheer. I agree with you. You stunning. can go to the coast. You can go to the mountains in Kur. You can go to the sanctuaries of Kabini. Uh, you can discover uh, uh, Mysore. You can discover, of course, Bengaluru. 
and uh, and Hassan, the yeah. Mr. Uh, Devagowda's original constituency just travelled to it. You right. think you're in Scotland? Honestly, yeah. it's as beautiful as that. Karnataka so, is stunning. I, 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 you know, I've told every chief minister who I've ever met in Karnataka, and I have a friend who's a travel, who's in the travel industry. And once two of us went and told a particular Karnataka, sir, why don't you do more? If, if Kerala is God's country, you're, you know, you're truly heaven. So why don't you do more? Uh, but uh, somehow, you know, this never quite happened for Karnataka in terms of tourism, when it really should be the number one state in terms of people it's just, just yeah, discovering. I do agree. I do agree with Rajdeep. It is stunning. And Rajdeep, too, very quickly now, two minutes. Huh? You're going to tell us one, for the process of elimination, how did Mr. Devagoda become the Prime Minister? No, he became the, the Prime Minister because of the process of elimination, because Jyoti Basu was objected to by his own CPIM. Uh, they refused to make him. This was the alliance of Mula, Janta Alliance coming th in. This was the Janta Alliance. Mulayam and, uh, and Lalu cancelled each other out. Uh, and that was the real big one because, you know, they were seen, Lalu was at that moment. And, yeah, you know, the, the Yadav saw themselves as the front runners because of North Indian politics. The two of them cancelled each other out. B.P. Singh also in his sort of Chanakya-like style, I think, eventually wanted somewhere other than the North Indian politicians so that, you know, he thought he could perhaps run the show. Uh, and eventually, I think they, uh, G.K. Mupanar was, you know, was there, but eventually just for, for a variety of reasons didn't seem to quite have that same urge to become PM. I don't think anybody doesn't have an urge, but he didn't seem to have it. And so they come across, uh, you know, the, the one who's least... Uh, 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 most acceptable. Least threatening. Yeah, least and the, threatening. Least threatening and therefore most uh, acceptable. He comes as, you know, he was chief minister. So he gives up the chief, chief ministership uh, to become prime minister. And, uh, you know, as, as Sharat Pawar once told me, the day Deva Gowda became prime minister, I knew Hamara bhi number ek din asakta hai. Who knows what tomorrow brings. Asakta. And he's still been waiting. He's 82. And look, Maharashtra, much larger state, 48 MPs, hasn't okay. thrown a prime minister. But Karnataka has. Well, you know, well, that that's politics. But with that, uh, that's it. This episode of Chunav Ke Chaudhary. We'll see you next time. Uh, more inside dope, more gossip, uh, more surround stuff. Thank you for watching Chunav Ke Chaudhary.